Need you for the old me Need you for my sanity Need you to remind me where I come from Can you do it? Hi guys, it's Shalisa Mariah here And welcome back to my channel If you want to see how I got the look in the previous clip Then just keep on watching So this video is not going to be too detailed Here I'm just blending in my foundation And for this look I use the Morphe foundation and here I'm just using my Born This Way concealer. And I'll leave all the descriptions to everything I use down in the comments because my foundation routine really hasn't changed. So I didn't want to spend too much time on that. Here I'm taking my P. Louise eyeshadow base and just patting it into my eyelid. This is my first time trying this just to make the colors more vibrant for this summer sunshine look we're doing. Of course, you know I'm using my Take Me Back to Brazil palette again. And now I'm just going in with this yellow color. And I'm putting it all over my eyelids. And both eyelids are going to look the same for this look. And all the links to everything will be in the description box. And the brush I'm using to do this is a BH Cosmetics eyeshadow brush that I got from, that I got with the another eyeshadow palette I ordered from BH Cosmetics. As you guys know, since I have small eyes, I always go in with a small brush to initially pack in the color because that works best for me to be able to have control over the eyelid. So the, we used the P. Louise eyeshadow base today instead of our concealer because um, as you can see, it just makes the color pop a little bit more and a little brighter. At the end of this video, or which you already saw in the beginning clip, you'll see my inspiration for this summer sunshine look, which came out super cute and I'm super excited about. I always do voiceovers for these looks because it's never quiet in my house, as you can tell probably from the clip. <laughs> so it's always easier for me to just do a voiceover rather than trying to record it live. So now that we've got the whole base cover in yellow, I'm just gonna try to make the color, you know, blend it out with the Morphe, my Morphe blending brush, just to make it more, I don't know, just to make the color smoother before we go in with the next color. Also, we'll finish the makeup look at the end off camera, but after I do the eyes, but like I said, I'll leave everything that I use in the description box. And also, if you haven't, you can check out my last eyeshadow tutorial video, and that will show you a in-depth view of the foundation products I use because nothing has really changed. Here I'm just going in to add kind of like a peachy sunset color to our outer corner. And I'm doing this just so when we cut the crease, it'll give it a nice like, I don't know, brightening effect. I felt like it gave it kind of beachy sunset summer glow vibes. So that's why we're doing this. If you're not comfortable with doing the size of your eyelids i would suggest getting some eyeshadow tape which is very um cheap you could get the elf brand you could find it at like ulta or target or walmart for like three bucks you don't have to get like a super expensive brand and this look really didn't take long to do it took me a while to do this because as you can see i was talking and focusing on other things <laughs> while I was trying to complete this look. But here I'm just taking that same peach color from the BH Cosmetics palette and I'm putting it into the other outer corner. And the colors blend together really well, which I love. I finally did my hair this week, so I'm able to come back with another video for you guys. As you guys know on this channel, we do mostly beauty videos or inspirational videos and you can catch a new video from me every week on Wednesday. So there I'm going in with another yellow shade that I got from the BH Cosmetics palette. 
and just to make the transition a little smoother and blending all the colors together and as you know that's gonna make our yellow in the front look a little darker but that's okay I always take my foundation brush and clean up the sides if I feel like it's going too far past where I want it. Now I'm just packing some more yellow into that inner portion of my eye, a lighter yellow that I got from my got out of the BH Cosmetics palette. All these colors that's up for one will be from the Take Me Back to Brazil palette. And the only reason I used another palette for the other color was just because I couldn't really get the look I was going for from the BH Cosmetics. As you can see, the PH Louise um, base just kind of makes the colors more vibrant and gives them something to stick to. So if you're like going out or you need this look for a long time, um, you know, I would definitely suggest buying their base. It's really pretty... Um, Price pretty reasonably, I believe. Please excuse that if you hear any noise in the background. That is my son, <laughs> and uh, he's playing right now. I feel like that I want to do a um, a makeup look where I let him do my voiceover. So if that's something you guys want to see, then definitely comment below and let me know. Also, let me know what other makeup looks you guys would like to see. Here I'm going in with my NYX um, white eyeshadow base and I'm cutting the crease. I'm using this because, I don't know, I just like for my crease to be brighter and I like using this NYX eyeshadow base. So, like I said, if you, I put the details to this in the description, but if you want to see like me holding up every single product and everything, you could tune into my last makeup video once you're finished watching this one, and you'll see exactly what they look like, everything I use. But if not, like I said, just check the description box. I'm making sure to cover my whole eyelid with this because I kind of want it to look like I have a, a larger eyelid than I actually do since you guys know that I have small lids. And I'm just putting extra white in there because the lid is going to be a little brighter than the darker color we went in with on the top. So the whitening of the base kind of helps with that. Also, if you guys know just a good white shadow, white eyeshadow in general that I could buy, please let me know in the comments because I've been on the search for a good actual white eyeshadow itself. Everyone I bought has not really been good in my opinion maybe I'll have to try MAC I know they have uh, good colors I'm thinking about maybe doing a glitter look next for you guys so definitely comment below and let me know if that's something you want to see I've never done like a full glitter um, eye and I kind of want to try it for you guys on camera so now that we've cut the creases I'm going to go back in and finish adding more colors I was talking the whole entire time I was on this video guys <laughs> that is so funny to me now I'm just going back in with some more of that peachy orange color from the BH Cosmetics and I'm just going to fill that in into the corner because I really like that color and I think it looks good for the outer corner of this look and then we'll add in some more other fun colors for the rest of the eye and you see how it looks like that color is just so vibrant and pretty i love it and don't forget to like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already i really appreciate you guys watching and subscribing and definitely feel free to leave me some comments with any suggestions you may have on other videos you guys want to see since i've been in quarantine i've been super bored so I don't know, doing these makeup looks is kind of like therapy for me, and I really, really enjoy doing them, so let me know what you guys want to see next, and I will definitely get it out to you. 
Okay, here I'm just going in with a little bit of that same yellow that we put on the top portion of our eye. I always get out of breath doing these voiceovers these days. But guys, I have my baby in a couple of weeks, so as soon as I'm done with that, then hopefully I won't be out of breath doing these anymore. You may just hear crying in the back at some point. I don't know what I was talking about. So here I'm using this new Morphe palette I just got. And it has this yellow color in it, as you can see when I just held it up. And the color is called Like Butter. I forgot the exact name of the palette. But like I said, it'll be in the description box. And I'm just going to go in. Because that yellow, the Like Butter yellow, is really, really bright. Like sunflower yellow bright. And I want to put that in the inner part of the eye just because I love it and it gives a nice pop to the cut crease and it kind of brings our look together in my opinion so that's what you see me doing there and you see how nice and bright and pretty that is I'm just gonna do the same thing to the other eye so pretty I'm using my mirror and at the same time trying to be close enough to the camera so you guys can see what I'm doing. So now I want to leave my inner corners a little white because since my shirt that I wore today was yellow and gray, my son suggested that I should add some gray sparkles to this look. So I'm trying to look for another brush to put in a little bit of this like grayish kind of eyeshadow it's like grayish white the color in the bottom of the bh cosmetics take me back to brazil palette that's what i'm adding to the inner corners of my eye just because i didn't want to leave it naked with the um with just the next uh you know white eyeshadow base that's why i say if you guys know a good white eyeshadow please let me know as you can see that bright yellow makes for such a nice cut crease and now i just blend it out the sides a little more and now i'm blending out the top with the yellow just to kind of not have any harsh lines all the eyeshadow brushes I used were from the BH Cosmetics line besides the one black Morphe brush you saw. Now I'm just adding that silver, the NYX Silver um, Glitter Liner into the last little bit of my corner in that crease because, um, like I said, my son felt I should add some glitter and gray to this look to make it fun, so that's what I'm doing. And I could think of no other better place to put it except for in that crease. So that's what we did. Now I'm just going to line my eyes with a plain black NYX um, liner pencil. You guys know since I have small eyes, I really don't care for the whole wing thing. But if you guys want to see a wing eyeshadow look, please let me know and I can do it. But it's just not really my personal preference. These colors came out so, so bright and pretty. As you can see, I just added some lashes. These are just some mink lashes that I ordered, which are big but pretty. And there's my inspo. So don't forget to subscribe and see you in my next video.